Even when testing guns and ammo, sometimes it's the other gear that makes the trip a success. I'm Joe Kurtenbach, this is Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Last week, we talked about a rifle and ammunition that was a winning combination for my field test in Africa. But this week, we're going to talk about a few items that made my time in the Kalahari that much more successful. Obviously, one of the most important pieces of kit for precision shooting is good glass. And I had a phenomenal rifle scope from Leupold. It was the VX6 HD 3 to 18 power with a 44 millimeter objective lens. One thing about hunting in the Kalahari is that the red sand dunes can either conceal game or they can serve as observation points letting you survey vast expanses of land. So having 18 power, which to be honest I rarely use that much, but it was nice to have all that, all that glass behind my shot. As well, the scope has excellent turrets that do feature a zero stop and give you good positive tactile and audio cues as you make your adjustments. While we were in Africa, we were also testing a forthcoming ballistic application. So being able to dial in that solution and then make the adjustments on the scope easily, it was key. And it really performed very well. Game was taken beyond 500 yards. We also set up a field expedient range that had 680 yards. And here stateside, I've shot at over 1,000 yards with this combination. It's really working out great. I can't say enough about the VX6 HD scopes. Coming back to those Kalahari dunes, one thing about having all that sand is it wants to get everywhere. So protecting your gun and your glass is pretty important. While I was at SHOT Show this year, I stopped by a booth from a new company, Century Products, and they were showcasing their Armadillo long gun cover. Basically this is a water resistant, stretchable material that can extend over your gun and your glass, can be tightened down to fit, and really provides that protection from the elements. A nice thing about it is that putting it on your gun does not impede using a sling or carrying the gun. So it's a very slim, minimalist design, but also very effective. While we were hunting, the armadillo performed very well, keeping that very fine red sand out of my glass, out of the action of my rifle, uh, keeping everything very well. And if you can believe it, on our last day of the hunt, we actually got drenched in a downpour. It was crazy to see that kind of rain in the desert. But again, the armadillo came through and was truly water resistant, kept the, the rifle and the glass, everything very well protected. The hunters were the only things that got soaked. Now we don't often talk about apparel here on Lock, Stock and Barrel, but I wanted to point out the Apex shorts from 5.11 Tactical. In the Kalahari, it was over 100 degrees for most of the time I was there. Uh, so keeping cool was a must, and these shorts are not only durable, they're also very breathable. The cargo pockets feature organizers, basically internal pouches designed to carry AR style magazines, but they served equally well at holding my cell phone, rangefinder, and my Kestrel weather gauge. During one memorable stock that basically took nearly a mile of distance at a running pace, I was very happy at the end after the shot had been made to find that all of my gear was still secure, still safe, and it hadn't impeded my movement uh, during that running chase. So for more on the Apex shorts, go to 511tactical.com. And to check out the Armadillo gun cover, go to sentryltp.com. And of course, to check out more models and configurations of the Leupold VX6 HD, go to leupold.com. And as always, for the latest on guns and gear, stay tuned at AmericanRifleman.org.